How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win. Today we're going to be talking about some new consoles. So the Xbox One Call of Duty Ghost Revealed just came out a few days ago and now we're on to GamesCon where we're looking at, uh, you know, the plethora of new games we're going to see and a little bit of the new hardware uh, for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now I'm a little late on this news, hopefully you guys don't mind, but it looks like some big Xbox One news has come out where the Kinect will no longer require for the Xbox One to function. There have been rumors in the past saying you could disable it or there's settings, but now an official statement from Xbox Xbox Corporate Vice President Mark Witten reveals that the Kinect is not required in any way, shape, form, or fashion for the Xbox One to function. So, I really like this as good news because not that I hate the Kinect, but the fact that you are no longer forcing something down a consumer's throat. Now, from day one, the Xbox One and Microsoft One has really, or Microsoft, wow, uh, has really preached the idea of allowing you guys to use the Kinect and all the great benefits it has but a lot of people were you know very skeptical and didn't like the fact that it was forced upon you that's like saying every time you drive your car you know you must get in it a certain way or you must do this people don't like the word must they like the word options and freedom and I think that is one thing that the PlayStation 4 did really well they gave you a lot of options they gave you a lot of freedom and a lot of people have criticized Microsoft for doing a 180 and but I say, hey, it's better that you recognize your mistakes than don't fix them at all and be really stubborn and be prick-like and uh, don't try to fix the issue that you guys have brought upon yourself. So this has brought up two things. One is, will the price of the Xbox One change? And for that, I say probably not with the Xbox One bundle with the Kinect. What I do think is going to happen is there's going to be a Connect list bundle, that's kind of tough to say, that's going to maybe be 50 to 100 bucks cheaper because the reason that the Xbox One price is so much cheaper, or ex excuse me, so much more expensive uh, than the PlayStation 4 is the Connect hardware, which actually does cost a lot of money for Microsoft to produce. Now, I think PlayStation took the smart route by not including the, uh, what is it, the PlayStation I uh, into their, you know, starting system, their day one system, because it should be an option. It should be about choice and it should be about freedom. Do I think the Kinect offers some cool features with, the, you know, voice recognition, face recognition, uh, the heart rate monitor? Uh, yeah, I mean, those are some cool things. Uh, that, that's next generation technology being next generation technology. I do think there uh, is a time and place for that. But like I said, I do think it should be optional just because of, you know, people don't want to be forced to do that. So this could be a huge turning point. Obviously, we haven't seen any commercials saying, uh, well, we haven't seen any commercials from PlayStation or Xbox right now uh, marketing their product. But the knock on the Xbox One was, you know, it is so much more expensive. And you don't think $100 more is more expensive. But when you tack in games and, you know, accessories you're going to have to buy, that can really add on. You know, $100 could be the difference of you buying a game, an extra microphone. Phone, a Turtle Beach headset, etc. What I, I can't seem to figure out this century gun can't go up here, and uh, yeah, so hundred dollars is a huge difference, especially to people who are maybe are buying this on their own, fourteen or fifteen years old. I remember when I was thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, a uh, hundred bucks might have just been forty thousand dollars because the difference in that is huge, and uh, I can understand where Microsoft is coming from. PlayStation Four took the safe route, and I think Microsoft has done a, like I said, they have done a good job to realize that they were definitely wrong, and uh, now we're going to be making the connect not an option so uh to re recap basically they've done a whole lot of things they've taken away a lot of the drm policies uh you know including game sharing you know always online and now they're taking away what i thought was one of even the bigger features was the connect because everyone seemed to have an issue with the whole uh nsa spying on you the connect always on watching you uh so i think they've done a really good job of trying to uh, you know, appeal to a broader audience. Now, if they hadn't done this, would they have still sold Xbox Ones? Yes. But I think this was more of a, hey, we effed up and we're trying to make things better. So, um, I see this as a really good positive thing for the gaming community, of course, Microsoft, and uh, you know anyone who just loves consoles. So, uh, one other thing, a lot of you guys have been asking me which console I am getting. I am getting both. There are going to be great games on both. Uh, you know, I might get one console first. I think it's going to be the Xbox One just because of uh, the Call of Duty releases that come out for it first. But no doubt I am picking up a PlayStation 4 because there's going to be great exclusives and I definitely do not want to miss them. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Microsoft not requiring Connect and which system are you picking up? Are you team PlayStation or are you team Xbox? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.